Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will see how to write the JDBC program on an Eclipse software. So in the previous video, I explained how to install the Eclipse software. If you want to run uh, work on the core Java programs, it's better to use the Notepad++. If you want to work on the advanced Java pro uh, projects like uh, JDBC servlets, then better to use the Eclipse ID. Okay. So now let's see how to write the JDBC program in this Eclipse software. So this is a perspective. I have already explained the previous video. Now let's see. So I had opened the Java perspective. So how to open the perspective? I already explained. So go to the windows and perspective, open perspective, go with the others. Whatever the perspective you want, you can select. So here I already selected the Java open. Okay. So now how to write the JDBC program here? So first of all, what you have to do, go with the file, new Java project, file, new Java project. Here I'm giving the project name as JDBC. Okay. I'm using the default location. Whenever I'm installing the Eclipse software, the workspace I had uh, created in the uh, one folder. So that is uh, taking it as a default location. So I'm not changing anything. So here also, you no need to change anything. So whatever the execution environment, I'm using the Java SE 18 because this is a, a, a perspective I selected as a Java. So it is giving Java SE. Suppose if you selected the perspective like a, Java double E, then the Java double E perspective will be up here. Okay. So now click on next. Whenever you click on the next, it builds. So this is the source file. So let's click on finish button. So whenever it is after creating, it is asking us to create a module info Java. So you just try don't create. Okay. Click on don't create button. Okay. So this is a perspective. Now what I have to do. So in the editor, I need to write the program. So how to open this editor. So right click on the JDBC here in the package explorer. JDBC folder is created. So just click on that. Right click. Go to new. In that new, you have to select the class. Because on the class only, you are going to write the program. Inside the class, you are writing the program, right? So in the JDBC folder, click on right click. New. Under that, select the class. So the source folder is JDBC source folder package is JDBC. Now give the class name, whatever the class name you want. So I'm just giving the connection demo because I my first program I'm using here is I want to connect a JDBC application and the SQL. So whenever this connection is uh, established, a connection established meshes will be appeared. Otherwise, file not found exception will be occurred. Okay. So here I'm giving a name as connection demo okay so the class name every word starting letter should be the capital letter so the name there is no space between the words so connection demo is my class name add given okay then you have which method stubs would you like to create select on public static void main and click on finish so now editor is open with a package jdbc public class connection demo it is there Okay, so now let's try to write the programs. So first of all, what you have to write. So first you need to create, uh, write the try clash block. So there are uh, some sh shortcut keys will be appear uh, is present. So you can use the shortcut keys for try cache blocks. And if you want to import everything, a shortcut keys will be there. So that I will explain in the next video. First, try to work on with how to write the program in an Eclipse ID. Okay. So try. So here I'm giving my class name. Class dot. For name. So in the for name, you have to give the connection. Oracle. JDBC dot oracle driver it's a class name oracle driver okay so for that you have to import the package right uh import java dot better give sql star okay so now the class for name I had given. So now what I have to do, I have to establish a connection, right? So for that word, a connection, connection 
कौन इट्स अ वेरिएबल कौन ड्राइवर मैनेजर सो ड्राइवर मैनेज डॉट गेट कनेक्शन you need to establish a connection right so get connection so where is your connection so that is a location where your uh, jdbc everything is present so here jdbc colon oracle colon tin if you are using the type 4 driver we have to use tin here tin colon at the rate local host if your database is in your system only then give the local host and the port number whatever the port number so how to see the port number i already explained 1521 and i had uh, installed the oracle 19c uh, software so for that uh, it's a global id is a orcl okay so this is a connection now give the your uh, oracle system username and the password system is my username and the password at the time of installation i had given banu db okay so finally semicolon okay so after that what you have to write you have to write system dot out dot print ln so what message you need to be type here so you want to connection established successfully if no error is there then connection establish established successfully message will be appeared successfully message will be appeared okay suppose if any error is occurred then it jumps to the catch block so in the catch block what you have to write exception e exception e so here system dot error dot print ln so what the message uh, whatever the exception uh, class bound not exception has to be print so e so this is how to write a connection establish a java application a program to establish a connection between the java application and oracle database by using the type 4 driver okay if you run this program definitely you will get an error that is a class not found exception will be occurred okay class not found exception will be occurred so let's see how to run the program just right click on the jdbc okay go with run as java application so this is the only the select source resource to save so this is one already selected click on okay whenever i click on okay a message that is appeared here so what message appeared here oracle uh, java dot land dot class not found exception is occurred that means you have to set the class path how to set the class path now let's see how to add the jar file here right click on the jdbc package so right click on the jdbc package in the explorer click on build path see here right click on the, what i am doing here now i am setting the class path because the class not found exception is occurred so for that right click on the jdbc on package explorer click on build path so in the build path it is as you have to select the configure build path okay so whenever i click on the configure build path so here you need to select so you need to select the libraries see here the library tab you need you need to select library tab so whenever i click on the li library tab click on class path okay library tab click on class path now what you have to do click on add external add external jar files jar buttons see here select the class path click on add external jar buttons okay i had click on this so now where is your uh, database everything so that is in c drive so i rename it as a db underscore home so it, under that jdbc folder is there so based on your uh, oracle software 
a different different enterprises version express edition different path will be there but the last three will be the same like the jdbc and then lib everything those will be the same okay so this jdbc a lib folder so under that ojdbc8 underscore g you need to be select ojdbc8 underscore g so mine is the oracle 19c uh, so that's why this is what it appears suppose if you install 18 or something other enterprise express edition if you install the path will be different the only thing is the last jdbc bean and ojdbc these files wherever it is present please select that path the last three should be same for all the softwares so ojdbc click on open okay Whenever I click on open, a path is selected. So click on add external jar file. So select the jar file. Now click on apply and close. Apply, apply and close. Okay. So now try to execute the program. Try, try to execute the program. How you're going to execute the program. So right click on, right click on, run as. So run as, so first you need to save the program, right? So how to save the program? Just save the program. Once again, so right click on it. Run as Java application. So your application, whatever it is there. So you need to select that application. So whenever I click on this uh, JDBC in the, under the source file, uh, a run file will be executing. So right click on this and click on run as and Java application. So whenever I click on this, it is a message is a connection established successfully. That means your program is executed successfully. That is what they are saying. Okay. So your program is executed successfully. Okay, so this is how to write your uh, JDBC programs on IDE. What I had done here, I had just created, a, I, I, I had established a connection between the JDBC application and the Oracle application. Okay, uh, Oracle. So before, before executing the program, I'm requesting you to uh, enter with username and the password. So just restart your SQL plus. Just restart your SQL plus by using the system and the password and the whatever the password you have given so that your database will connect to the JDBC. If you are getting any error, try to uh, restart your SQL. Okay. So this is how you have to execute your programs on IDE. Once one thing you have to note down students. So this path will be the same. But suppose if you are using the Oracle Express Edition, so the, instead of ORCL, you have to write XC. For Express Edition, instead of ORCL, XC will be there. The, I'm using the Enterprises Edition, Oracle 19C Enterprises Edition. So I had, for my global ID is, it's a ORCL. Okay, so for Express Edition, it is XE. Thank you.